啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。This is the church that lunch built. This is the rectory that lunch built. This is the hall that lunch built. These are the people in the kitchen of that hall at that church next to the rectory, getting ready for the lunch that starts at 11 o'clock. They've been here since 5:30. Actually, they started working Monday for this 11 o'clock lunch on Wednesday. And over here is where they're cooking the food, the regular food. In the corner over there, they'll be making the meat pies and spinach pies. Lunch is a very big deal at St. Raymond's, the Maronite Lebanese Catholic Church just south of downtown. For three hours every Wednesday, for nearly 45 years now, volunteers have put on one heck of an open to the public feed, Lebanese food. What is that you're putting on there? It's sesame seed, sumac, and thyme. It's called zapta bread. And you know, bread is the staff of life. You're going to tell me it's not tortillas, right? It's not. We call it Lebanese bread. It's pita bread, right? That's what Greeks call it. <laughs> It's not hard to figure that if the prep time is longer than the lunch, they serve 11 to 2, this is a very big lunch. And the big items at the big lunch are the meat pies, all handmade, filled with ground beef, onion, lemon, and spices. Has anybody ever counted how many of these you ladies make in a day? I don't know if they have or not. <laughs> how many? About 300 or so. 300? The other big menu item is the kibi aras, the footballs they call them. Newbies ask about them most. It's a ground top sirloin shell with a ground top sirloin and spices stuffing. Then it's all deep fried. This is a labor intensive process, isn't it? I tell you, watch them make it, it's something else. Well, I'm watching you make it and it's something oh, else. Yeah. From the kibbies and meat pies to the salads and grape leaves and cabbage rolls, it's all labor intensive. We're working on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays for Wednesday. Yeah. And it's all volunteers. And because those volunteers kept working week after week for so long, that's how lunch built a church and a hall. And at 11 o'clock, parishioners and non parishioners flock to that hall. Lunch is ready. This is a light day right before Christmas. That explains the Santa hats. Everybody comes to St. Raymond's. Big wigs and regular people, lawyers and cops. Come election time, this is the place where politicians glad hand and slap backs. You see priests, you'd expect that at a church lunch. Old people, young people, very young people. Is this his first time here for lunch? It is. <laughs> He's enjoying it. So far? Yeah. All anybody here wants is for you to eat and enjoy. Hey, we'll try it. What the heck? Lunch at St. Raymond's is like a meal at Grandma's. It's very hot. Eat, baby, eat. I hope you enjoy the food. Even if Grandma has a goatee. Give me your plate. I'll give you a little taste. Every Wednesday lunch is like a family reunion at Grandma's. Uh, at St. Raymond's. Same faces make lunch. Same faces eat lunch. Hey, Roxy, how are you? All right, how are you? Good, so many people are calling you by name when they check out. Are they church members? Some are parishioners and some are regulars that just come all the time. But you see the same faces week after oh, week, I, don't yeah, you? I do. I do. Back in 1967, the church was in an old house. The parish was without a priest for nearly 30 years. Then the lunches started. They built this building. They built. They built it all. This is the lunch that built the church, or was it, was a very very instrumental in building this church. There were a few gentlemen later on once we started who donated, but as far as the, the bulk of the, uh, the finances that came to the parish from parish or something like that was this lunch. That's so I, I used to I used to say it's the ladies who built the church. <laughs> I meant what, the, the ladies in the hall. Now here's one more amazing thing about the St. Raymond's lunches. Dessert, if you will. When people are finished eating, some leave. How was lunch, gentlemen? Wonderful, as always. How was lunch? Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. I come all the way from St. Charles. Is it worth the trip? Worth it. Worth it. But lots of people stay. They linger. They hang back just to talk and schmooze if people actually schmooze in a Lebanese church. And in the kitchen, the volunteers who made the lunch and served the lunch that built the church celebrate the end of another Wednesday. Yeah. All right.
For HEC TV, I'm Aaron Mermelstein. La 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 la.